Ever wondered how your favorite sour gummy bears are made? Well, buckle up candy lovers, because we're about to embark on a sweet journey into the world of gummy bears. Originating from Germany in the early 20th century, these chewy little treats have bounced their way into hearts and stomachs around the globe. What makes these tiny treats so irresistible? The answer lies in their simple ingredients. Sugar, glucose syrup, starch, flavoring, food coloring, citric acid, and most importantly, gelatin. The gelatin gives gummy bears their distinctive bouncy texture, while the other ingredients provide the sweet taste we've all come to love. These ingredients are mixed together, poured into bear-shaped molds, and then cooled until they become the chewy morsels we adore. That's the basics of how regular gummy bears are made. But what about those tangy, lip-smacking sour gummy bears that we can't get enough of? How do they come into being? Dive into the fascinating world of sour gummy bear production. Now you may be wondering, what sets apart a sour gummy bear from its sweet counterpart? Well, it all comes down to a few additional steps and ingredients. While the base ingredients of both types remain the same, gelatin, sugar, and flavorings. The tangy twist in sour gummy bears is introduced by a special ingredient called citric acid. This natural preservative not only gives these gummies their puckering punch but also acts as a natural preservative. But how does this process work you ask? Once the sweet gummy bear mixture is prepared, it's poured into bear-shaped molds to set. Here's where the magic happens. Once the gummies are set and removed from their molds, they are rolled in a mixture of sugar and citric acid. This gives them their characteristic sour coating. Now let's dive a little deeper into the science of sour. The sour taste is actually a reaction between the citric acid and your taste buds. When the citric acid dissolves in your mouth, it reacts with the enzymes in your saliva, creating that tangy sensation we all know and love. So there you have it. The secret behind the sour gummy bear isn't just a simple twist in the recipe, but a fascinating interplay of chemistry and confectionery. As you can see, it takes a bit of sweet magic and sour science to create those irresistible sour gummy bears. Why not bring the magic of gummy bear creation into your own kitchen? Let's dive into a simple and safe recipe that you can try at home. It's going to be a fun and engaging process, perfect for a rainy afternoon or a family bonding session. The ingredients are easily available and the steps are as straightforward as it gets. First, you'll need some unflavored gelatin, sugar, fruit juice of your choice, and citric acid. Just remember, the citric acid is what gives our gummy bears that sour kick, so don't skip out on it. Start by combining your gelatin and fruit juice in a pot. Stir it gently until the gelatin is fully dissolved, then add your sugar. The sweetness of your gummy bears depends on how much sugar you add, so adjust according to your preference. Once everything is well combined, bring the mixture to a simmer over medium heat. Keep stirring to prevent any lumps from forming. After a few minutes, remove the pot from the heat and let it cool for a bit. Now comes the fun part. Pour the mixture into your gummy bear molds, then sprinkle some citric acid on top. Be careful with the amount, as too much can make your gummy bears overly sour. Let the gummy bears set in the fridge for a couple of hours, and voila! You've just made your very own batch of sweet and sour gummy bears. So there you have it. It's not just a treat, it's a fun experiment. Go ahead, give it a try and make your very own batch of sweet and sour gummy bears.